All right, just a quick recording on uh, stream ecology and ecosystems in uh, streams and flowing water settings are referred to as lodic ecosystems. Uh, this is opposed to uh, ecosystems in lakes and still water bodies. These are lentic ecosystems, but today we'll be talking about lodic ecosystems. And two keys to lodic ecosystems dissolved oxygen and food. Uh, as you know, aquatic organisms who don't surface to breathe, they absorb oxygen through either their gills or their skin. And this oxygen is present in the water in the form of dissolved oxygen. It gets into the water uh, through areas of turbulent flow where it can sort of be mixed in with the water. And it stays, the degree to which it stays in the water is a function of temperature. And specifically, temperature is inversely proportional to your maximum amount of dissolved oxygen you can have in the stream. What that means is that colder streams can actually hold more oxygen than warmer ones, uh, as you can see on the diagram here. And this is important because, you know, you think about uh, urban development and loss of forest cover and climate change, you know, that can all raise the temperature of a stream and thus have a negative impact on uh, the organisms living there, you know, on top of adding salt, nutrients, you know, other nasty stuff to the stream. The other key is food. And actually in uh, sort of smaller stream ecosystems, you do get some aquatic plants, uh, but your main source of food, of nutrients, is leaf litter and other plant litter from the surrounding uh, terrestrial uh, forest. And this leaf litter is broken down by, you know, small insects and other small creatures and larvae called benthic macroinvertebrates. Uh, BMIs um, that live benthic meaning they live on the bottom of the stream macro be meaning you can see them with the naked eye and vertebrate meaning they don't have a spine these benthics they eat plants and in turn provide a source of food for fish uh, and you can learn more about benthics and about fish uh, by clicking uh, the links here and benthics are not only an important source of food for fish, but they're useful to us because they're a fantastic indicator of water quality. Uh, certain benthics, they're very sensitive to water quality, and they'll only live where water quality is good, say in you know cooler streams with lots of oxygen and food, um, these uh, sensitive ones here. And other benthics are very... Uh, tolerant um, to poor water quality conditions, these resistant ones here, and you know, other benthics sort of fall in the middle. And if you can identify one of these sensitive benthics in your stream, then you know your water quality is good. But if your stream has, you know, just a bunch of these resistant ones and none of the ones over here, then you know your water quality is uh, not so good.